Yeah, okay. Now, let's go into the movie now. So, your movie, Shameful Deceit, raises a big debate on poor values and the weight of family secrets. And precisely in this case, the storyline is on child sex abuse. Tell us how the idea came to you and why you have chosen to tell this story through your lens. In Canada, which I've been at a million times. Okay. Um, yeah, I've always said to people that I had this little cousin back home who sent me a synopsis of about three different movies. Mm. And I went through the synopsis, and the only one that caught my attention was Shameful Deceit. Mm. When I read it, I found that it's a subject matter that uh, no one has actually tackled that properly in Africa and and and, and the world mm. at large, you understand? No mm. one has actually, you know, you know, taken the, uh, you know, um, actually thought about yeah, talking that matter yeah. because people yeah. feel ashamed all the time, mm. you know, to talk about things like that. Okay, now look at the subject matter, a father raping the daughter. Mm. If it happens in Nigeria, you know, most families won't, they will want to keep it as a secret because yeah. they think, uh, you know, it's something that might tarnish the image of the family. Mm. You know, so it happens every day, everywhere in the world. Mm. No one wants to talk about it. So when I saw that synopsis amongst the ones I received, I said, well, this is the area I would love to touch. Mm. And I asked for the full script and we did a screenplay and that was how I was shameful to say. Yeah, a wonderful movie. On uh, Friday, uh, on Friday, I had a conference on Nollywood. I organized with my friends what we call okay. Nollywood Evening, and then I showed them the um, trailer of uh, Shameful Deceit. And uh, okay. one of the Canadian girls said, "Oh, this is a very tough subject." Do you yeah. think, he, like like you said? I I said, well, it's it's. Um, uh, a subject is a bold subject. Nollywood is looking at um, interesting subjects that we raise debate and hoping when it's going to come to France. That's true. I think uh, we'll think about that and um, we will look forward to coming to France. Oh, hi, Theodora. It's a pleasure to meet you and to talk to you. Thank you. I'm fine. I'm nice talking to you as well. Okay, I mean, my question definitely, first of all, will be how does this story um, came about? What inspired the story? Um, is it a true life story? Does it draw close to home to you or, you know, just a, um, a form of awareness? Okay, um, it doesn't really draw close home. It's not something I have seen happen or it's something that I've had happen every day in Africa and the world at large. So when I received synopsis from my little cousin in Nigeria, I had three yeah. synopsis to go through. And when I came across Shameful Deceit, I felt this is a subject that hasn't been tackled properly before. And I said, if I take this on board, it will create awareness, you know. So that was the only reason. It's not something oh. I've seen happen before, but I felt that it should be talked about. Okay. So, um, well, what does it feel like when um, filming it? Oh, it was all good. The filming, we did the filming for 14 days, which was two weeks, and it was all nice and smooth. The, the actors were good, cooperative, happy. It was a happy set, so we had no, you know, problems you know, producing or filming on set. Everything went smoothly and yeah, still so great, everything is fine. Oh wow. Well I mean, congratulations. Does the movie uh won awards for it? And yes, um, that shows that people are really interested in um stories like this. So yes, um yes. Uh, 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 I'm really happy for you. Thank you. Uh, what does it feel like winning those awards really? <laughs> okay, yes. Um she can also ask me that question. I'm <laughs> really, really delighted. I'm happy because uh -huh. I feel I feel that if you receive an award or if you're being nominated, it means whatever you're doing, you're doing it well and people are recognizing your work. So I think in having won these awards myself and share for the sake, that will actually make me work even harder next time. 
Um, Theodora, I'm going to ask you one tough question, which whenever I ask that question, I'll never get an answer. How much did it cost to shoot that movie? <laughs> Okay, yeah, um, definitely, of course it's something I, know I would answer. It, yes. it was not a very high budget movie, but we spent over 50000 to produce the movie. Okay, and everything was yes. shot in London, completely in London? Yeah, okay. yes, everything was shot in London, yeah. Yeah, so Chichi, do you have the last question or any other question or follow-up question before we, um, run, we wrap it up? So what, what, what is your background? How did you came into the industry, Nollywood? And what's your background? What um, other things that you've done before coming into the industry? And what okay. interests you to um, be part of Nollywood? Okay, that's a very good question. And um, I always tell people that I came from a family of teachers. My maternal parents, and my paternal parents' family are all teachers. I am a teacher as well. My dad and mom are teachers. My sisters and brothers are teachers. I'm from a, I'm from a lineage of teachers. But fortunately for me, I love entertainment. I only taught for like a year or two, and I said, this is not my field. This is not where I belong. I also went for to do accounting in the uni. But still, I felt this is not my calling. So I went into entertainment in Nigeria, actually, because I worked with um, an entertainment outfit before I left to the UK. But when I came to the UK, I actually didn't look for a job in entertainment. You know how it is there. You can't really get the kind of job you want at the time you want to. But I was actually spotted at an event where I emceed. Um, there was a guest who came into the event in 2006 and he saw me MC at an event. Even though I wasn't meant to be the actual MC on the day, someone called me and said, okay, the MC is not in. Would you like to help us MC this occasion? Which obviously I did and I think I did it well. So mm -hmm. this movie producer came to me and said, uh, Theodora, I understood that you were not meant to be the MC for today, but you were asked to do it and you did it brilliantly. And having seen your job today, I believe that the movie I'm going to do now, if I want you to be um, an actress in this movie, you will do it well. And I said, okay. So that was how I was spotted and paid to do the first Hollywood movie. I, I tried my best. I wasn't, a, I wasn't an actress. I didn't go to acting school or anything. Well, I tried my little bit and I became interested and you know that's how I continued the acting journey till day. Okay. I, I have a question for her she said the first movie she acted can you tell us the name of the movie and, okay. uh, yeah and um, yeah, and which role did you act in that movie okay um I played the lead role and it's called heavy mama in London oh that yes. movie was shot for like uh -huh. nearly two years because everyone in the movie goes to work like nearly every day so we were shooting at weekends only for two years so it was re it was released in 2008 okay. so after that still date i've done like 10 movies now oh, wow. but i have produced just one and uh, which one do you prefer i mean um the working with the crew 10 10 movies acting in 10 movies uh, mm -hmm. You must have a preference. I would say my preference yeah. would be my movie, Shameful to say, because I think Gould handedly produced it. I, I actually, my husband was my co-producer. We did it together. And uh, my team, they, they, you know, they were very cooperative. And um, uh, because I kind of coordinated the whole thing, you know, I think it went really well and I enjoyed the set. So I would say my set to me. Um, it's one of the best, if not the best, that I have worked on. You've been listening to Nollywood Radio France. Keep checking on this website for new episodes of Nollywood Radio France. Like us on Facebook. You can also log in to our website www.nollywoodfrance.com.